Chicago Wind a few times here in the two that we've casted for Chicago Wind. They've, you know, kind of slaughtered the other team. I'm going to be completely honest here. We're going to switch the screen on up so you guys can see the gameplay. We'll get out right on into this map here. We are going to be seeing that Neb from the side of Floral make his way out towards Zig here from this construction building. Let's see if he can spot a kill here out towards Bridge. Not able to do so as Brutal and Audacity both pick up nade kills there. They're doing a great job early on finding these kills. It's going to be a third kill coming in now here from Manny's. You can be able to find anything else towards this hill from Brutal. He's found one already here in this map. Orko's finding two. Orko's on two in a row here as well. Manny's on two in a row. Orko's now last alive here with his teammate in Brutal. Brutal's going to find one there up top. We're going to be seeing Orko's turn on around. Let's see if he can spot that kill out towards mid alley. He's going to find that kill. we will try to push up towards the slatter. See if he can find a kill here on the flank. Not going to spot anything here to this point. I believe his teammate in Audacity did pick up that kill. So Orko's on three in a row. Make that now four in a row here from Orko. It's a pretty solid start here. He's going to find a fifth. Finds that kill. He's going to have a 6-1 coming up there towards the top mid. He's going to turn around. He will drop there as he does so. So great start there from Orko's on the side of Chicago win. They pick up at least 20 seconds here on a P1. We do see Orko's at 5-1 as well early on. This has been a pretty solid map here for the side of Chicago from both times that we have casted them. I believe the first one we casted, they won at like 250 to like 47 or something. It was crazy. High finding four in a row. They're finding a four piece. Make that now six in a row as he was on a five in a row there. Can he find that seventh? He's going to find the seventh. Can he find an eighth possibly out here towards the back of P2? He's going to put some shots down. Not able to find that kill. Going to throw a smoke on. Oh, not able to find that eighth kill, but a great start there from high. Nine and three here on the map. He just needs some help from his teammates. And Drake in the steadies. We're at one and seven and one and six here in this map. Side of Floral only down by 15 points here midway through P2. So they're not doing a terrible job here so far in this map. Manny's going to be on five in a row here for the side of Chicago win. Make that now seven in a row here on the map. I believe he did find an eight there before dropping. Great stuff. A few different players on both sides as we've seen Manny's go on eight in a row. And I believe it was Hyde that was on seven in a row as well. We are going to be seeing these rotations go on down out towards P3 now. So we will be seeing a brutal here out towards this tree door. Drake going to be laying inside of that door. He's 1-8 and eight here on the map. Him and Steadies really need to find some kills here. Get themselves into this game. Oh my god. Brutal absolutely just annihilating Drake. They're great stuff there from Brutal. We are going to be seeing a white man can jump on two in a row. He's 4-6 and six so far on the map. Can we find another kill? He's going to find a 3. Can he find a 4th here out towards this archway? So he's going to spot that player across. And he does so. So he's now going to find his fourth in a row. He's going to spot a fifth in the back. Nice little kill there from White Men Can Jump. Can he find that sixth? Not able to do so just yet. But he might be able to finish it on off. He does so. Pistol now in hand. As I believe he did to run out of ammo there on his M4. He's going to try to make his way on into the higher point. He finds one. I believe that was, what, seven in a row there? Possibly four. White Men Can Jump from the side of Chicago. But we are seeing the side of Floro get a huge amount of time here on a P3. They've now take the lead here in this map. So it's been a pretty solid start here to this map from both teams. And the side of Floral getting out slayed here by quite a bit so far. I mean, you got Manny's at 12 and 5. White Men can jump at 11 and 7. And they're down here in this game by 15 points going into P4. Floral starting to make their way out towards that P4 point. They're not going to get there in time as I do believe Chicago is set up on early there with a brutal and... Who else is there? Orcos from the side of Chicago. So Brutal going to push out towards Bridges. He's going to spot one cross. Puts down some shots. Would have loved to see a little bit of trigger discipline there. Not to child that player. He is going to drop some nice kill there from Seti. He's 4 and 14 here on the map. He's got to find a few more kills or get himself into this game. Lead change that now comes back into the side of Chicago win. We are going to be seeing the side of Floral break on through for the time being. Let's see if they can hold down some time here on this hill. Are going to be seeing a steadies here in the hill. Not able to find that kill up towards the front door. I would love to see him just keep that M4 out in his hand. Make sure he finds at least one kill there. He was unable to do so. So, you know, a little bit of a rough game again from him and Drake. But they're still in it. They're up, actually, here in this game. We do see High go on five in a row. He's 14 and seven, keeping up with the likes of Manny, who's 15 and seven as well here on the map. Oracle's playing out towards mid map. We're going to have Manny set up here early on at P5 for the side of Chicago. They're down by 30 points here in this map one. Let's see if they can take a lead here in a brief moment. As Manny's going to turn around, he is going to drop Brutal now last alive there for the side of, of or not Floral, from the side of Chicago. And he finds two kills there. He goes big in the hill. He's on two in a row. He's 9-8 and eight here on the map. Everyone on the side of Chicago positive, but they're down by 25 points. Let's see if they can get themselves back on into it. Not only down by 20, so they're doing a great job of grabbing this hill time. Let's see if they can keep that going and possibly take a lead here for the second or third time already in this map. Seti's finds two there. I believe he did TK a teammate as well. 
Drake finding two. So Drake instead he's starting to find some kills here. They will get on into this hill if they can keep doing that here throughout the remainder of the game. You know, they could take this map one off of the side of Chicago win. We're going to be seeing a brutal final one kill there in the hill. He's actually finding two as his teammate and white man can jump finds two as well. He's going to drop there. We will be seeing the scrap time most likely go to the side of Chicago win here. So they're only going to be down by about two points maybe. Maybe. I think. I did my math right. Two points. Right? We're going to be seeing high find another kill here out towards this top middle of the map. His teammates finding those kills in that kill. They're doing a great job of getting into that hill. So Kazex and Drake are both finding those kills in the hill. They're doing a great job here of holding down this time now as well as they are finding a decent amount of kills. They just got to find these remaining kills out towards Ruggs. We are going to be seeing it. Kaz X up here towards top construction. He's going to drop. Drake now last alive. He's in the hill. He is a one hit right now. He's going to find a kill. Getting one hit and finding that kill is huge. He should drop from behind right there. Great stuff from Brutal. Find that kill. He's on four in a row. Him and Whiteman can jump combined for seven in a row. We're going to be down by 17 points still here in this map again. Steady's Drake. Pick it up here a little bit. You guys are going to try it here in this map. We do have a reach of the time being. Let's see if we can keep these spawns out towards speed 2 as well. You guys will gain control of this hill. Neb going big there in the hill. Finding 3 in a row. We are going to start to see Chicago make their way on out towards P2. As I believe it is Audacity who did sneak on through. He finds one there in the back. He's going to drop. Nice shot there from Drake. Or was it Manny? I don't even know who it was. I believe it was Drake finding that kill. He spawns to the side of Chicago now as they did push on through and find all the kills that they did and need. Because now going to be pushing here from the front. Let's see if they can get back on into this hill. They got a 23 point lead. Neb on 5 in a row. He's 15 and 18 here on the map. Again, I'm kind of surprised the side of Floral is in a lead currently as they are getting outside by a decent amount here. You have a white men can jump popping completely off. Audacity fighting that kill as well. 20 and 17 here on the map. I believe that's going to be 5 down now here from the side of Floral. We are going to be seeing some of these players hit up towards this... Half wall jump up. They're not able to find these kills. We should be seeing a lead change coming in here shortly. Kasex is going to drop there. We are going to switch it on over here to High, who's 20 and 15 here on the map. We saw him go on a few early streaks in this map. He's just going to opt to rotate on out towards P4, as the, or not P4, P3, as they are going to lose that lead. Chicago is going to go up by a little over 20 points. After two heals on the second rotation, if they can build on this lead and close this out here, that would be huge for them. They should be able to do it. Should be able to do that as, you know, Floro struggling here a little bit, a little bit from two of the players. But as I say that, we're going to see the whole side of Chicago spawn on out. Should be seeing this initial 15, 20 seconds go to the side of a Floro as they are getting that initial time. They are finding some kills out there towards mid. It's looking like Chicago's going to maybe break on in here shortly. Audacity finds it two in a row now. He's 24 and 18 here on the map. He's just going to be a nuisance up here towards the top mid. I'll probably opt to drop on down and possibly get on into the hill with his teammates. Manny's was on four in a row there before dropping. Chicago breaks on through. We will be now seeing the side of Floral, floral. <laughs> spawn on out. We are going to be seeing Audacity go on five in a row there. Oracle's finding that kill. We should see Chicago start to rotate on out as well. They could close this map out here on this next hill if they can, you know, paint together this scrap time here from P3 onto P4. Just looking like they will likely do it. Oracle's can find a kill or two here. He finds one. He's going to get reinforcements here from Manning, who actually it does a drop. So Drake doing a great job there, winning those gunfights on rotation. He's now 14 and 26 here on the map. This could be a whole different story here if the likes of Drake and Steadies started off hot with their teammates. They could have won this map, honestly, by now. They are going to find themselves down here in this map. White men can jump finds two. We are now going to be seeing it two. Make that now three as Kez finds two there from the side of Floral. They are holding down this time. We are going to be seeing a Floral get themselves back on into this game. Should only be down by about 10 points by the time any of these players on the side of Chicago can break on into this hill. We are going to be seeing four kills now come in there from Chicago. Are they going to be able to find that fifth? It does look like they will be able to do so. They cannot close it out here on this hill. But it would always be a good thing for Floro to try and contest some time here on the P4. Not allow Chicago to be up by a whole lot as it's only a 20 point lead currently. I is going to drop there. If this player out towards the front can get on into that hill for a little bit of time. He's not going to be able to do so as many signs these kills. So this next rotation is going to be huge. Floral's got to win all these gunfights and play it nearly perfect. They are going to find themselves down by almost 40 points here. And they have to hold this hill. They cannot allow the side of Chicago to get on into it. It is a doable here for the side of Floral as long as they find these kills. It's looking like they've done a great job of doing that so far. We are going to be seeing a one-player flank on around out towards mid, which I believe it was. Number 8 on the map, which will be Kez. That's going to be four kills coming in here for the side of Floral. Can they get back on into this hill as two of their players are dropped there? We're going to be seeing the hill contestant for some time now. Kez finds himself in the hill. We are going to be seeing Kez rotating on out towards Snake. 
gonna find one in the hill, cannot find the second. Can they find these remaining kills? By the last up in the hill. Side of Floro cannot win it here on this hill, but they have to keep contesting as Chicago only needs eight points to win this map. Pi is gonna be the last one up in the hill. He's gonna drop there. His teammate's gonna fly on in. Neb, uh, did he find a kill? I believe he did find a kill there on him. Manny, he's gonna find a second as well. Neb going huge here in this hill. He's gotta stay alive. Kaz gets on into that hill as well. They have to keep contesting this. Drake and Steadies are going for that contest time. They cannot allow eight seconds here to the side of Chicago. They did a great job there. Chicago not able to get a single second here to this point on P5. But we have to see Floro get on into P1 as well. We are going to be seeing Steadies hit out towards mid. Chicago's going to be in that hill here off the rip. It's looking like they're going to find the kills. They should be able to close it on out here. And as I say that, Kaz finds a kill. This is still doable here for Floro. They only need 17 points. Done a great job here of not allowing the side of Chicago to close out this map just yet. They are now finding these kills. 15 points needed for them. They have one more gunfight to take in rugs. They do win that gunfight. White man can jump, comes in from behind, finds three in a row. That could be the map there. He goes huge at the end. He finds another kill. He finds four in a row to close out that map. A 250-237 win there for Chicago. That map was interesting all around there as the side of Floral was not allowing Chicago to find much of any hill time there on those last two hills. Before piece doesn't come in there from White Man Can Jump. I don't think the side of Chicago closes that on out. But in the end, they do. Great job there from Chicago. What is that noise? All right, sorry there, guys. I had a bit of an audio issue, but yeah, White Man having a great game there. 37 and 22 on that map, a minute 28 in the hill. Manny's 33 and 21 as well with a minute 46 in the hill, so he played good as well. Audacity right there with them as he dropped 33 and 26. What is this noise? Alright, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the audio there. It's a little bit weird. Holy. Just maybe turn down my mic volume a little bit. That might help. I'm not sure what it's what it is at all, honestly. A bit weird, but yeah, we did see a big game there out of White Men and Manny's along with Audacity. We did see Brutal, you know, 23 and 22 as well. I mean be honest with you, I don't know how the side of Floral kept themselves in it. We see it Neb at negative 10. We see Drake at negative 12. Steady's at negative 21. I mean, like, how were they even in that game? Kez and Hyde, the only ones, you know, positive or around neutral there. It was, that's a great game there from the side of Floral being out slate. I mean, if something to take away from that is the fact that they got 237 points and they're out slayed by, what, 40 kills at least? That is crazy. Looking like the side of Floral is going to be on Coalition, so I want to switch that around as well. But yeah, that is a crazy map there again. I'm doing good, Tasteless. Doing good. How about you? I'll sleep by almost 40. That is negative 21. You add another 12. That's what? 33. Another 10. That's 43. Another, you know, 2. 45 minus 8. 37. Outslayed by 37 and only lost. Or they got outslayed by. 37 and only lost by 13. That's crazy.
Yeah, it was a crazy game. I don't even know how that happened there. You've been doing fantastic. You love to hear that. Lou, thank you for that follow as well. I didn't get that earlier on. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Should probably switch the screen on over for you guys as well, so you can at least watch this. You know, search and destroy thing, right, guys? Don't want to forget that I did that last time I did cast floral. <laughs> oh, you know, I get I'm a forgetful person sometimes. So who's gonna be sniping here on the side of? I believe it is Chicago. I don't remember. Brutal is going to be the sniper here from Chicago. We're just going to keep it on him here to start. See if anyone's going up towards A. It's not looking like it will be an A hit. We are going to switch it on over here to Orcos from the side of Chicago. He's going to be watching out towards outer B. Should have a gunfight coming up here on to Steady. He's going to spot that player across. And he's going to back on up. Get some info there for his team. Doesn't over chow. You'll love to see that. Now we're going to respot that player there in as Steady's. Fine set kill. I believe Steady's did have that sniper in hand. This bomb going down here on the site. We should have a gunfight coming up right away. I'm trying to switch it on over to him, but it's not letting me switch. There we go. We go up top. We're going to find a player in a Manny's. He's not able to win that gunfight. Manny's just a better player all around right there. Finding that kill. He's going to have a second one coming up here to his left. Is he going to be able to snip this on out? He's going to open up this door. That player playing it patiently, not giving away his position. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Who is that there in that room? going to be high. High is going to have to go big here for the side of Floral. It's now going to be a 1v4 here for high. Spot one player across, finds a kill. Can find that second, he cannot. That will be a round win here to Chicago win. First round in the books. We do see Chicago up 1 0. You know, if High can find a second killer, that might be doable. <laughs> he might be able to get that player off the bomb. Great trade there coming in from Manny's as he did to find that kill. Let's get this around at two underway. We are going to start this off here with steadies from the side of Floral. Once it lets me switch on over to him, I believe he's got the sniper in hand, if I'm not mistaken. we we'll be seeing him jump up top, slide on through this door. Going to close the door actually behind him. And looking like he's going to look out towards mid. I would love to see him look out towards, you know, A, as there is no one over towards B. Like, you should have a call up from a teammate here. Going to peek on out here towards this window. Not able to spot anyone. White men can jump. Finds two kills there. Or make that one, actually. He found a one in that first round as well. He's on a two in a row for the side of Chicago. Numbers early to Chicago. They will lose one player there. As it Drake did pick up that kill. So we're now going to be seeing a 4v4 here in round two. Said he's still playing this top post. He's not going to spot one for anything. A brutal trying to find a killer with that sniper on that flank. He's not going to be able to do so. So we are going to switch it on over to Drake here. Numbers to the side of Floral. They find a three more kills. That's going to be a round of win here quickly there for Floral. As they found all four of those last kills in a quick session. 1-1 one, one game here already. I love to see that. That map 1 being super close. You'd love to see map 2 be close as well. Switch it on over here to Brutal with the sniper in hand here. It's looking like it's going to be another B hit here for the side of Floral Esports. Let's see how they opt to play it this time around. It's looking like they're going to send all a five or make that four of the five players out here towards outer B. Sniper in hand here for Steady Spray and out towards that rock. Not going to spot anything there. I believe we are going to be having one player in it because watch that flank there for the side of Floral. Drake not able to spot anything. I believe he might have actually spotted one player in the window at one point. Shots did go down there early on. He's going to be playing his life free towards Elder B. These players on the side of Floral playing it super patient. Now going to start to make his way on out towards the site. Are they going to check this close left corner here? It's looking like they do so. They find one kill as Orcos did find one. The trade did come in. That was trying to get the spawn down. Is he going to be able to do so? Looking like he will. I believe he's got one player to deal with here in this B room as well, if I'm not mistaken. Gets out with his life for the time being. Are we going to be seeing Audacity check this corner? Audacity does. He will be immediately traded on out. It's going to be a 2v1 here for the side of Floral. Manny's finds one more now in a 1v1. 30 seconds of work with, so this is very well doable here for Manny's. We're going to be seeing a Kez just play up towards this top B area. He's actually going to push this back door. Playing it super patient. We should be seeing Manny start to make his way on into this site. 
Gonna hear that door open. Should be able to chow that player. He's gonna find that kill as well. Did not let me switch to him, but he found three in that round. Look, he found those last three. Actually, it's five and one now here in this map. Great stuff there from Chicago Win and Manny's, especially there to clutch up in that round and give him a 2 1 lead. Any lead in a search is always a good thing to have. Alrighty, who do we switch it on to? I'm, I'm thinking Brutal here from the side of Chicago. I want to see if he still has a sniper in hand. Looking like he is going to have it in hand, so we're going to switch it on over here to Drake, who's going to be watching over B for the side of the Floral. 2-2 two and two here on the map. It's not letting me switch it on over. He did find a first blood there mid-map. On to White Man can jump. He's going to get shot up as well, so he's going to back on up to play his life, making sure he does not drop as they do have numbers here. 5-4 advantage for Floral. He's going to make his way on into this B room. He's not going to spot anything, but he might hear a player. That might actually be his teammate. All right, I'm tripping too. My headset's cranked as well. Oracle's just playing it super patient here out towards the front of B. I believe he's playing for his dead silence. Let's see if they can find a possible kill here. Shoots through these doors. Not going to spot anyone in those corners. So he now knows that is clear. He's going to get shot up from mid there, I believe. He might have actually been shot through the wall as well. Drake and high finding kills. Oracle's going to have to push on in. Spot that player on the bar. He finds one kill. He's going to get out with his life as well. Did a great job there. I would love to see them rotate out towards A like they are going to do here now in a 2v3. Orko should be able to get this bomb down over here towards this A site. He's now going to be left in a 1v3 as well. Did that player in the back spot him? I don't think he did. Instead, he should be, be ugh, should it be that first rotation here to the side of Floral. Orko's just going to be playing here in this trench. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to be seeing a Drake push on through it broken. Orko's going to be pushing out towards trench. He's going to spot one player there. Able to finish that kill now. He's got two to deal with. That will be a second round win on the board here for the side of Floral. Clutching up in this round. We did see high find three as well in this round. Great stuff there from Floral. 2-2 two, two here in map two. A 1-0 lead here to Chicago early on in the series as well. Next, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, we're going to be seeing high 6-2 and two here on the map for the side of Floral Esports. They did just tie up this map at 2 apiece. We're going to be seeing a smoke thrown out towards mid-map. Let's see what high can do as he is going to throw a nade up towards the top. He's going to connect with one player. It avoids that nade as well. He's going to flood on in immediately get, you know, present here in this B room. Drake going to plant this bomb immediately behind that. So great job there from Floral. They do not hesitate. We are going to be seeing Orko's flank on around here early from Outer B. He's actually going to find one kill. Audacity finds one as well. Two and four here from Audacity. Orko's finding that first blood. Audacity immediately finding the kill right after. They will have this 5-3 advantage. Let's see if they can find these remaining kills. They are going to spot one more there on the Neb. Kaz is going to find one on the Manny's. And now last alive will be nobody from the side of Florals. They all did drop. Orko's finding one. White men can jump finding one. There to close out that round. Great stuff there from the side of Chicago. White men can jump. Should be defusing this bomb here. I would think. You know, hopefully soon. Oh my gosh, I forgot to update the map count. I am an idiot. There we go. Thank you for typing that in the chat, me. I forgot to update that. I do apologize, but it will be a 1-0 lead here to Chicago win. I don't know why I forgot to do that, but it is what it is. 1-0 lead. That map one, if you did not... C was a 250-237 win for Chicago, and, you know, they outslayed the side of Floral by 37 kills, so I'm kind of surprised it was within 13 points, if I'm going to be honest. Looking like this will be a B hit here again in this map. I feel like we haven't seen a single A hit yet, if I'm not mistaken. I'm seeing that Drake find two players are out towards mid. White man can jump, finds that kill. They have this 3-2 lead here in this map. White man can jump 4-3 and three as well. If you can keep this going here, he should spot a player on this cross. He's actually going to have to turn around and chow this player out towards fountain. He's going to throw a nade out over there. He's going to be able to find that kill. He's not going to be able to do so. They are going to opt to push out towards Elder B as it is the safer route. And they should have site control now as well. Who is in this 
B room already. Is that going to be Orcos here? Is going to be playing out towards this front door, if I'm not mistaken? It's actually going to jump up here towards this bar. Watch this back door. Numbers are even here. Is it's four to four here? Orko should be dropping as he is going to get stunned and end up finding that kill. We will be seeing Audacity find one immediately after that. High finds one as well. High eight and three here on the map. He's doing a great job here for the side. All four. All he's going to drop now. Eight and four. Nab and Kaz both left alive here for the side of a floral. We'll be hearing that door open. Can Audacity find these kills? Can find that kill on that bomb planner. He's going to be immediately traded out. So that will be a round win here to the side of floral. We will be seeing the map tied up at three apiece. Great stuff there from floral to tie up this map. Yet again, you could not ask for a closer series so far. C7 about to get underway here as we are seeing the game tied up at three apiece. It's been a pretty even performance all around from everyone here in this lobby. We are going to start this off with Audacity from the side of Chicago. And I'm thinking we switch it on over here to the side of Floral. But in steady, he's two and four with the sniper in hand. Watching outer trench here for Floral. See if he can find a kill there onto that player who is sitting deep trench. And I believe Brutal not opting to peek, just playing his life. It's looking like Brutal did pull out the M4 as well. We are going to be seeing White Man can jump, get out towards Broken. Is he going to be able to find a kill here onto any of these players? It's going to be the question. If Drake gets pushed up onto the bomb, he's going to drop there as White Man can jump, finds that kill. We are going to be seeing the numbers back to even here as side of Chicago did find two kills. It's going to be a 3v3 here in this round. White Man can jump, should be flying on out here of a Broken and find this kill on this planner yet again. It's going to be now a 3v1 here as Floral Esports has dropped like flies here in these last 10 to 15 seconds. Should be able to find this last kill here in just a brief moment. Audacity going to hop on this bomb. Orcos finds that kill and that will be another round win here to Chicago Wind. 4-3 advantage here in this map. And again, it's been a super close map. Let's see if Floral can bounce on back and pick up another round. Going to wait on this player to defuse this bomb. It's looking like Audacity will do so and we will be getting into this next round here shortly. Great stuff there from Chicago. They take that round win and they go up yet again here in map two. You guys did not know map one was won there by Chicago win by 13 points. Again, not quite sure how it was so close as they did outslay the side of Floral by, you know, 37 kills. Let's see what the side of, let's go over to Chicago here. I want to see if Brutal has a sniper out in hand as it is looking like it will be an A hit. He has the sniper, uh, or not the sniper, the M4 out. Kind of surprised he hasn't had the sniper out here in these last few rounds. Maybe he's just, you know, switching it on up, trying to find a kill here. Manny finds one there on the high. Orcos finds one as well. This could be another round win here for the side of Chicago. Can a floral clutch on up in a 3v5? It is a doable but with as much sight control as the side of Chicago has right now, it's going to be nearly impossible as another player now drops around the side of Floral. Orcos finds that fourth. This should be a round win here for Chicago unless that player in Drake can clutch a 1v5. He's not going to be able to do so as he does a drop a 5-3 lead now here for Chicago win. Alrighty, now but two and eight here on the map. Not the greatest game here from Flora. Let's see if he can pick it on a little, picking on up here a little bit. Had a pretty decent map one. It was only like negative three there from the side of Floral. So let's see if he can find a few more kills here. They do need this round win. They cannot give up another round or where they will lose this map. They're down 0-2. Something they do not want to do here against a team like Chicago. 
We are going to be seeing a Neb pick up a kill there on the Oracle. So White Man can jump, finds one on the Drake as well. Let's see if they can keep this going here in this round. Trades back and forth so far. You'll love to see that. We're going to be seeing a White Man can jump just pre aiming this bomb as he knows it's down there. Neb trying to find a gunfight onto that player. Not going to be able to do so. High did find one 10 and 6 here on the map here for High. Great stuff from High. Maybe High can slide on out, get on the Sparrow Heady, and maybe gun that player there in the back from Chicago, which will be a White Man can jump. They are going to spot that player out there towards the back L. Chicago is fully do top dog, so... Yeah, I know I've casted, I think, almost all their matches here so far, too. High's going to be sitting in this corner, just waiting on this player to push on in. He's going to find one killer. Not able to find that other kill. White Man can jump. Now does win that round, as he did find that last kill. We'll be seeing a 2-0 lead here to the side of Chicago win. teams are easy three O's. No, I am wanting to see, you know, Team Ascend versus Chicago win. I think it would be a pretty good matchup in all honesty. Map three will be played out on Gunrunner, so just bear with us here as we are going to wait on these players to switch on host and get up into that map. He's on Team Ascend there. Adrenaline. Casted Prince quite a bit. The dude is a cracked. We just stand with the same pulse. What's going on? Why are we chilling? <laughs> Mia. <laughs> oh, that's comedy. Well, I hope I have these teams on the right side because I didn't get much time to switch things up. Map three underway. The fastest I think we've ever had a map get underway there in less than a minute and a half. That is crazy there. I'll update this map count as well before I forget. And we did. Alrighty, back on in here to the action. Right away, you love to see that. No one torching. Making it quick and a pain list of there in between maps. 3 0 Neb's team yesterday on all our worst maps. Wasn't even close. It's Team Ascend. Team Ascend. We are going to be seeing a floral here on the bad side to start it on off. So they have to have a good or a good bad side here for the side of. Oral, because you know, you don't want to go down to the team like Chicago Winners. They've shown they can't win these maps off of these players on the side of Floral. We are going to be seeing a high find two kills there out towards Vents. He's going to be able to find that 30s does so. So that's three in a row here for Floral early on. They've done a great job here of finding these kills. Are right, going to be seeing, you know, fly push on back in here into Oilers and make his way out towards Office. They did not get this B cap off yet. They are starting to lose the C flag as Chicago Wind is getting out towards that flag. We are going to be seeing high find that fourth kill. Why did I even, why did I even switch it off of him? Well, funny is the team can't have one bad day. I love to see play them again. We are going to be seeing high find one more kill there. He's going to get out onto this A flag. Not able to find another kill there as he will drop that C flag only in the hands of Chicago so far. Not quite sure if the side of Chicago did get that B flag. They did actually, so we'll be seeing them lose that flag now. So great start here from the side of Floral. They're going to get out onto that B flag. They're finding these kills. They're having a great start here to this map. Brutal's going to be 3-2 and two here as well on this map from the side of Chicago. Steadies finds one. Isn't going to find a second here out towards Lockers. His teammate picks it up, so he doesn't even have to. They're going to clear that flag. They're going to get this early lead. Only a few points here early, but they've done a great job here of... Wait, what kind of spawn just came in? Wait, 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 wait. What kind of spawn just came in there from Chicago? I gotta watch that back on stream. That is freaking nuts. They got to spawn out towards C there. I'm not quite sure how. And they're gonna gain this AC setup here. That is crazy. How did that even happen? What? 
nonetheless, it will be going right back to the hands of the coral. Here they are finding this cap so far. They have one. Why are they spawning there? I'm so lost. Why are they spawning there? Yeah, they just spawned in the... Oh my god, I just watched that back on stream. They spawned in the back there. I'm not even quite sure why they spawned out. That is so crazy, but okay. Floral Esports here, 4-4 four and four on the map. We are going to be seeing Endemic make his way out back towards this B flag. High aim 3 here has not slowed down from the start. We did see him go 4-0, and oh, I believe, at the start of the map. Having a great performance here in this map. He's going to be finding another kill here out towards this C flag. Now 9-3 and three here on this map, finding one in a row. We are going to be seeing a brutal 5-5 five and five here on the map from the side of Chicago as well. I'm trying to switch it on over to that player from Chicago. So we playing out here in the boiler. Let's see if we can possibly find a kill out towards mid-map, if anything. Not looking likely so far as Manny's is going to find a kill there out towards P3. They have this A, B set up. Let's see if they can hold this for some time. Build up a lead. 2 minutes, 20 seconds left here in this round. And we see, what, a six-point lead here to the side of Floral. They're doing a great job so far of keeping this time. Brutal's on two in a row. We have Orcos on two in a row as well. Make that now three in a row here from Brutal. We do see Manny's pick up a kill as well. That's now going to be six in a row here for the side of Chicago. They're starting to get themselves back on into this game as they should only be down by two points now. They've done a great job here of getting it back onto that B flag, but it's not the greatest, you know, first round here as they did start off there on a good side. Floral now dropping like flies in that four and seven. We are going to see him. Instead, he's at 3-5 and five as well. These players need to find some kills here. Get themselves back out onto that B flag. It's not looking likely so far. Chicago will take that lead now up by 2 points. We are going to be seeing the whole side of Floral start to push on through force. Can they find these kills and possibly get out towards the safe flag? We are going to be seeing a Drake and High find some kills. They are going to get out on the safe flag. This could be a fast cap here if they do stack it. Manny's out towards boxes. He's going to drop. That flag's going to be neutralized. We are going to be seeing this flag now switch hands at C... That C flag also will be switching hands here as the side of Chicago will be spawning out towards that flag. White man can jump, finds five in a row here for Chicago, finding a huge two-piece there out towards B, that B flag and not able to switch hands there, Floral doing that great job there of getting out towards that A flag, but we're not able to gain control of that B flag, which is something they really need to do here, down by five points, again, they kept it really close here so far, having a bad side to start this game off. You know, anything within 15 points is not a bad start there from Floral. If they can get out onto the C flag and possibly get control of that, that would be huge. It did look like they got out onto that C flag for some time as well. They're going to be down by 9 points as that lead is just slowly starting to build up here for Chicago. We are going to be seeing Steady's find one kill out towards mid-map. Kes found two. They should get out onto that B flag and they are going to get that cap off. They should bring this game within a decent, you know range maybe like seven eight points there for the side of chicago wind elite as long as they keep that a flag which is looking like they're doing but we get brutal right back onto this b flag causing enough of a just enough of a distraction over towards that a flag to get out onto this b flag we will be seeing nev get back on this flag and cap it should bring this game within i would say what five points i think should be like an 82 74 Six seventy-seven lead for them. I'm doing my math right. It's gonna be a six-point lead here for the side of Chicago, nonetheless. Not the greatest first rounder. It's actually gonna be a five-point lead. Great job there from Floral. They found, you know, that A B setup for some time there, and, and they bring it back within five points. And they're gonna start off with good side as well. So they did a great job there of keeping themselves in this first round. Alrighty, sorry, I was just reading the chat there, guys. We are going to be seeing a floral push out towards mid map. We see Drake find one. Can he find that second? He's not going to be able to do so. This is a great map three here for Drake as he started off slow there in that map one. I believe he was what, like negative 20, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He's up brought himself back in the series. He's now 15 and 13 here on the map, finding another kill. He's going to try to decap the C flag. It's looking like he's going to be able to do so as a player did spawn up on him as well. We should be seeing a few players there from the side of Floral get back out onto that A flag. Drake's going to have two players to deal with here out towards the track. He's going to find one. Can he find a second here? He's not going to be able to do so as he will finally drop there after finding three kills in a row. Great job there from a Floral. I'm done for you guys. Internet chat. I'm performing on stream. Ooh. They're going to be seeing a brutal drop there on that A flag. So we should be seeing a Floral make sure that that A flag is going to stay in their hands. It did take a lead as well. I did not point that out as they have held this AB setup for some time here. 
Let's see if they can, you know, get back out onto that B flag. They are starting to lose the safe flag as well. They have to gain control of a full flag here. They do have that A flag still. We always see a player spawn out there from the side of floral. They're going to try to neutralize the C flag. Great job of doing that so far. They're going to keep the game within striking distance as they do have a lead. That player, and I believe it was White Man, can jump. Somehow managed to get out onto that C flag. So we will be seeing this BC set up here for the side of Chicago. Floral up by five points. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in this round. So this is still anyone's game so far as it should be in an up, up around even here with this hold from Chicago win. Audacity fine in two with Manny's and Brutal both fine in one. Alright, we're seeing that Manny's drop there out towards P3. Let's see if Drake from the side of Floral can find another kill here possibly on the map. It's 16 and 17. We're actually just going to keep it on depth for some time, I'm guessing. Not letting me switch it off of Neb here, so we're just going to be chilling here. Let's see if we can find a kill out towards office. He's going to drop. We're going to try to switch this on over here to Orcos or Manny's, apparently. We are going to see Audacity on five in a row. Let's see if we can keep this going here to the side of Chicago. Win 12 and 11 here on the map. Goes off to a slow start there early on here in this map. It's not letting me switch players. Now, there we go. Brutals will drop. Audacity still on five in a row. And he will finally drop there. We're going to try to switch it on over here to... I was going to try to switch it on to Neb there, but it didn't allow me to. We are just going to see what High is doing here on the map. Let's see what Kez is also doing here. 11 and 10 here on the map. Apparently it's not going to let me switch the players I want. It's switching the one above them. So we are going to switch over here to Audacity from the side of Chicago. Win if it lets me switch at all. Well, not Audacity. Actually, a brutal because I forget. It's not letting me switch the right player. Chicago are going to retake this lead here in this map. Kez finds three. Great stuff there. He's going to find a fourth as well. Great stuff there from Kez. 15 and a 10 here on the map. On a five in a row, we are going to be seeing a BC setup here for the side of Floral. We are going to not see Kez find that kill as he will finally drop there. Great stuff from Floral to find these kills, get out onto some flags. But as that happens, they are going to lose these flags. A bit of a rough go so far. Brutal going to find this kill. They do have a seven point lead here from Floral. Can they get back out on that B flag? It's looking like they're going to be able to do so. They don't have the favorable side, but they're doing a great job here of it, keeping a lead here in this map. White man going to throw a trophy on out here, out towards P3. Let's see if we can find a kill out over towards this B flag as well. Going to find one. Can he find the second? Not able to do so. Kaz finding that kill. We are going to be seeing it now. The side of a floral lose that A, or was it the A flag or the C flag? That was not quite sure, but they are going to regain control of that A flag, but lose this B flag in the process. Because all five of them did drop there. They have to get themselves back out on this B flag as the side of Chicago can close us out with a B C setup. We're going to see that Drake make his way out towards Boiler. He's going to drop Manny's finding two in a row. Great stuff there from Manny's. See if he can continue this streak. He's now on four in a row. We're going to be seeing now Manny's find one. Can he find a second there on to that player out towards mid tracks? He's going to not find that kill there on the steadies. 17 and 14 a start here from Kaz. We are going to switch it on over here to Drake. See if he can find a kill out towards this B flag. Actually, we're going to switch it on over to Kaz, apparently. 17 and 14 here on the map. He's going to throw a nade out on to this B flag. Not going to find anything with that. Chicago retakes the lead. Can Floral get out on this B flag, find these skills, and gain control of that flag? They're not able to do so. They're dropping like flies. Chicago should be able to close it out here as long as they keep this B flag in their name. And it's looking like they're going to be able to do so. This should be the game. They should win this map. I don't think even with a trip cap, it would be possible for the side of Floral to get themselves back on into it. This will be a 3-0 here for Chicago.